Even with control of the House, the Senate, and the White House, the Republicans today could not muster the votes to repeal and replace Obamacare. The House was scheduled to vote on what the president had called our wonderful health care bill. But too many Republicans did not see the bill the same way. So rather than go down in public defeat, the Speaker of the House put off the vote at least until tomorrow. Mr. Trump, whose self-promotion as a negotiator was chronicled in his book, The Art of the Deal, has so far not had the political skill or capital to move the members of his own party. Chip Reed begins our coverage. At the White House this morning, President Trump got a standing ovation from more than 30 members of the Freedom Caucus, the most conservative group in the House. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer insisted the health care vote would happen today. It's going to pass, so that's it. But after Congressman Justin Amash and other Freedom Caucus members returned to the Capitol, the positive tone had disappeared. I don't think there can be a vote tonight because they don't have the votes. So what happened? Well, the president did agree to the caucus's request to reduce the cost of health care by dropping the Obamacare requirement that insurance companies cover essential health services, including hospitalization, maternity care, prescription drugs, and mental health and substance abuse services. But the Freedom Caucus said that's not enough. It wants the bill to do much more to repeal Obamacare. Without their support, Republican leaders had no choice but to postpone the vote. At about the same time, President Trump was still saying the vote was on. Today, the House is voting to repeal and replace the disaster known as Obamacare. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a very close vote. Late today, Congressman Mark Meadows, the chairman of the Freedom Caucus, said he's hoping for consensus, but admitted he's still not on board and said there's a long way to go. We are trying to get another 30 to 40 votes uh, that are currently in the no category to yes. Once we do that, I think we can move forward uh, with passing it on the House floor. House Republicans hope they'll have the votes by tomorrow morning. But, Scott, even if they do, by moving this bill to the right, they've made the job of getting it through the more closely divided Senate even tougher.